The shape tool is really easy to use. Click and hold to see the different kinds of shapes that you can make on your toolbox and select the tool that you want to draw with. If you'd like to make a perfect circle, then you need to hold down the shift key. So if you hold down the shift key, you'll get a perfect circle. If you just make a shape, your circle could become more of an ellipse or an oval. When you make a shape, it'll show up in your layers and it'll label it accordingly depending on when you make that shape. So we have shape one and shape two. I recommend labeling your shapes so you know which one you're working with when you're in Photoshop. Simply double click and then you can label it so it makes sense to you. The color of the shape previews to the left of the name in the layer. So to change the color of the shape you simply have to double click and then select the color. I have only web colors checked off since we're doing animations for animated GIFs. You can go ahead and select that so you have less images or less colors to choose from while you're working. If you want an outline on your shape then you need to add an effect and the way you add the effect is with the FX or the F icon that's at the bottom of your layers. You're adding a style and you're going to add a stroke. Mine already has a stroke on it so you can see it's previewing to the left. You change the size of the stroke here to make it thicker or thinner. If you want it on the inside or outside of your shape or in the center of the outer edge of your shape and then the opacity so you can fade it or have it be a hundred percent and change the color of your stroke depending on what you're looking for. If you don't want it at all you just uncheck it and you're done. Or you can delete if you look here on my oval. If you don't want the stroke anymore you could just drag that stroke down to the trash can and it goes away. That's very simply how you use the shape tools the only other things you guys might want to check out that are different is the custom shape tool. And if you look up top here, when you get the custom shape, it's like a free form shape over here. When you go up top, they have different, I guess, palettes of custom shapes. So there's a default one, which shows up. And if you click on the little option arrow, then you can see the other palettes of custom shapes. So maybe something might go along with your character that you want to look at. So you either want to replace the current shapes or you want to append, which means you add to them. So when we look now here, you can see all of the nature shapes show up. So play around with it, see what you need to work with, and have fun with it. If you want to alter a shape that already exists, what you need to do is use these arrows, the path selection and the direct selection. The black arrow, the path selection, will move a shape around in its entirety and the white arrow, the direct selection, will move part of a shape around. Now right now it's already selected so it would move the entire thing. What you want to do is click on the outline of that shape. It's going to give you the handlebars for the curve of your line which you can alter or if you want to move just one point you would click on that point and then change your shape. So maybe I want to make this look more like the shape of an eye and I would pull it out like this. You could change the curve with the handlebar. If you want to move just one side of the curve, you need to hold down your option key. And then you can move one side at a time. So you can really make interesting and unique shapes that will work for your animation. The convert point tool will actually just work on changing your curve. So if you click on that with the convert point or the open arrow, it's going to give you those handlebars to change shape your curve. And there you have the shape tool, so play around with it.